Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am showing you guys these bomb crispy fried chicken tenders. These are so, so good. And it's very easy to learn how to make these. If you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Also like if you enjoyed today's recipe and let's jump right into it. Okay guys, here are the ingredients. Everything will be listed down below for you. I am using all-purpose flour, club soda, sazon, goya. I am using two large eggs, hot sauce, and for the seasoning I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, black pepper, white pepper, cayenne pepper, creole seasoning, salt, and some dry parsley. And of course we have our chicken tenderloin. To get started, I am going to grab the hot sauce, pour that over my chicken. Now we're going to crack two eggs in there. Next, we're going to sprinkle our Goya seasoning in there. And last but not least, we're going to add all of that seasoning in there. All of the measurement will be below in the description box, so don't worry. Once we're done, we're going to use our hand and mix everything together just like so. Now I am going to grab one cup of club soda, pour that in there. I accidentally added too much, but it's actually one cup. Once you're done, you're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour in there, mix it up together just like that. Now once we're done, we're going to cover this with a saran wrap and place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. Once the 30 minute is up, I am going to grab the chicken from the fridge. Now this is a no mess fried chicken recipe. So here's what you're going to do. Grab yourself a bowl with a lid. Then you're going to pour two cups of all purpose flour in there. Next, you're going to add onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and a little black pepper in there. Mix it up together with the flour. Now grab your chicken, place it into the flour. Then you're going to cover your bowl and shake, shake, shake. Give it a nice shake to make sure the chicken is well coated with the flour. Now you're going to uncover your bowl, remove the chicken, set it aside and do it again. I'm going to do it one more time for you guys, then we'll move on to frying these tenderloins. I already have the oil preheating on 350, so now I am going to gently place the chicken tenderloin in there. Be careful so you don't burn yourself, okay? Now we're going to fry these for about six minutes. Yes, six minutes. Then 
once they're nice and golden brown you are going to remove them as they're frying of course give it a toss give it a little toss here and there just to make sure the chicken is cooked evenly Now take a look of these tenderloins. They look so crispy. The breading on there is just wow, okay? So I'm going to fry another batch, of course, for you guys. Um, look at that, this just looks so perfect. This recipe, take no time, you can do it. Now that is by just watching this recipe step by step, you will be able to make this. Um, the breading is just, so crunchy, so crispy, and so perfect. Now I'm getting ready to make my honey garlic sauce. I am using honey, of course minced garlic, soy sauce, a little bit of unsalted butter. So to my skillet, I am going to melt the butter. Once melted, we are going to fry the garlic. You're going to cook the garlic for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to add the honey and follow by the soy sauce. Make sure to use a low sodium soy sauce as the sauce can be on the salty side. But this is a sweet and garlicky sauce so it's, it's not going to be salty at all. So I am going to let that simmer for about five minutes until it's nice and thick. And if you're feeling a little spicy, add some cayenne pepper to this, okay? That's what I just did. And yeah, it wasn't spicy, but you feel a little bit of kick in there. So we're going to let that simmer. Once it's done simmering, you should have a nice, beautiful, flavorful honey garlic sauce. And once we were done, guys, this is your fried chicken tenderloin. I added some dry parsley on there. Oh my God, chef kiss, okay? This recipe is a must try. It was so good, you will think this came from a restaurant, okay? That's how good this was. Got to try it. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Of course, if it was helpful, don't forget to hit it with a like. Subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.